About Bush's impact on Texas politics is state chairman of the Republican Party, James Dickey. So thank you so much for joining us this morning on short notice. Can you just talk about what was his impact on the Republican Party here in Texas? Well, it, people have short memories, so most people don't realize that when he first ran for Congress and when he ended up being a congressman in Texas, uh, he was one of only three Republican wow. congressmen in the entire state. And our delegation was smaller, but still. Um, but even before that, he was the Harris County Republican Party chairman. Right. And uh, just as part of being a Republican Party guy in Texas back in the early 70s, that was almost unheard of and, the, and then he continued at the national level when he became chairman of the National Republican Party. And what would you say is his lasting legacy if you're sort of just to look back on his whole life both nationally and again here in the Lone Star State? Well, uh, absolutely a lifetime of service. I mean, not only was he a naval aviator but he was the youngest naval aviator in the entire US Navy he was the youngest wow. so, it, so his service began early but I, I would have to say that the biggest thing in his life, uh, the biggest accomplishment that we'd have to point to, he was overshadowed as serving two terms as vice president for Reagan, and Reagan was such a larger-than-life character. But during his four years as presidency, the world was in incredible turmoil right. and things were changing. Russia was was descendant and we were ascendant and it would have been so easy to make decisions that would have caused more wars and more conflict and instead of doing a victory dance and spiking the ball and causing problems in Eastern Europe that we didn't need, um, he showed an amazing amount of restraint and grace in letting that fall happen without collateral damage and without us trying to uh, um, trying to get involved in ways that we shouldn't be involved in. And that followed through in Iraq as well. There were a lot of people who were uh, concerned and critical that, that when we won that war so quickly that he didn't go in for occupation. Well, the last 17 years in Iraq and Afghanistan probably show that his choice was right. And just what can Texans do to honor his legacy, to learn more about his life, moving forward, especially I'm thinking this weekend there's going to be a lot of people just with this top of mind. I cannot recommend more highly a visit to the George H.W. Bush Presidential Library at Texas A&M. It is, uh, it, we forget just how much he had done and, ju and just what times were like then and uh, the exhibits they have, the information they have there. It's a great reminder of what an amazing American century we had during the 1900s and, and now early into the 20th, 21st. Right. Mr. Dickey, thank you so much for joining us again this morning to talk a little more about the life and legacy of George H.W. Bush.